Hey y'all, in this video we're going to explore exponents and orders of magnitude. And by that I mean 10 to the power of something. Okay, we've already seen this when we think about scientific notation. Right, recall that scientific notation, numbers adopt the form of 1.23 times 10 to the sum power, like 10 to the fourth. Okay, and there's going to be a lot of times in this class and in subsequent courses when you have to be able to work with these powers, these 10 to the certain value, or really any base number to a certain power. Okay, so in this video and the next several, we're going to explore some different scenarios and how we can manipulate these orders of magnitude. Okay, so let's start by thinking about something fairly simple. Okay, this is the idea of negative powers. So if we have something like 10 to the fourth, we know what that means. It means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? So this is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But what happens if it is 10 to the negative fourth? So if we're dealing with something that's 10 to the negative fourth, it's not exactly true to say that it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. This negative actually means that it's one over 10 to the fourth. Okay, so anytime you see a negative in your exponent, it means one over that number. Okay, and that can be really useful if you recognize it and are able to quickly identify how to deal with it. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily even have to be um, 10 to the power of negative something. It can be any value to the power of a negative number. So if we had 2 to the negative 2, this is not the same as 2 squared. We know that 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2 or 4. But 2 to the power of negative 2 is absolutely not 2 times 2. Instead, this is equal to 1 over 2 squared, or 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, or 1 fourth. So 2 to the order to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over fourth, or if you prefer decimal form, 0.25. Okay, there will be lots of instances where you have to deal with negative exponents. Okay, and don't let them trip you up. They're simple. It just means one over that number to the positive exponent. In a similar way, we can also think about these in um, if the negative power is on the bottom. Right, so if I have one over 2 to the negative fourth. This is the same as 2 to the negative fourth. Okay, so this would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward as long as you understand what that negative sign means. In the next several videos, we'll explore how to do calculations with these, um, with these orders of magnitude, with these exponents.